Attention, movie buffs. Let's delve into a classic film from 1942 that has it all humor, shock, and heartache. The characters in this story offer depth and variety, making it a memorable watch. Share your favorite roles and personal experiences related to this movie below. We want to hear how it has impacted you. Your stories are what make our community special. So, who stood out to you in the film? Share your thoughts and memories were all ears. Let's keep the discussion going and relive the magic of this timeless movie together. And remember, your voice matters. Keep those comments coming. Stay tuned for more movie discussions. Until next time, keep the flame alive. Amidst the fervor of World War II, a significant moral lesson unfolds in a classic film. It delves into the idea that beneath a charismatic facade often lies a concealed truth, especially in the realm of politics. The movie reveals the hidden fascist sentiments behind a national war hero, which are shielded from the public eye. It takes the persistent investigation of a reporter to uncover this truth, eventually revealed by the conflicted wife. She finds herself torn between upholding the nation's image and confronting the harsh reality of perpetuating a lie. Directed skillfully, the film maintains its engagement within studio sets with well-designed outdoor scenes. The actors in their non-romantic roles emphasize the narrative's gravity over theatricality. The screenplay underscores the citizen's ability to confront uncomfortable truths rather than clinging to comforting images a timely message then and now. While the film may show its age in various aspects, its dramatic alert regarding political images and harsh realities remains relevant serving as a reminder of the importance of facing uncomfortable truths. It presents a cautionary tale about manufactured images resonating across generations. In the 1942 movie, Keeper of the Flame, notable actors like Spencer Tracy showcase their talent. Tracy, a prominent figure in the film industry, notably never appeared on television despite his fame. The movie also marked the debut of actresses Audrey Christie, Mary McLeod, and Diana Douglas. Katherine Hepburn, another prominent figure, had an interesting connection to the film as her former maid briefly held the title of world's oldest person for just four days in 27. This brief reign, certified by the Guinness World Records Committee, stands as one of the shortest in history. Such unique facts add depth to the legacy of Keeper of the Flame. In Keeper of the Flame, a 1942 film, Catherine Hepburn, known for her portrayal of Eleanor of Aquitaine in The Lion in Winter, delivered a compelling performance. Notably, in August 2018, Hepburn was celebrated for her extensive filmography during the TCM Summer Under the Stars event. Additionally, she was the aunt of Catherine Houghton, who played her character's daughter and guest who's coming to dinner. Hepburn's legacy and talent shine in Keeper of the Flame. In 1942, a film quietly made its way into the world of cinema, making quite a splash on MGM's financial records. The movie turned out to be a box office hit raking in a profit of $140,000, which is equivalent to $15.5 million in 2019. The success of this production secured its spot in Hollywood history. Amidst the unfolding drama, a key player in the film, Katherine Hepburn, revealed a familial connection to Shiloh Grant and Daniel Jenkins, her great-nephew and great-niece, respectively. Known for her impactful presence on screen, Hepburn added a personal touch to the movie's legacy. Another significant figure in the film was Margaret Witcherly. At the age of 21, she gave birth to her only child, a son named Anthony Vailer, on June 23, 1903. Anthony's father was none other than her husband, Bayard Vailer. Witcherly's role in the production mirrored her diverse life off-screen. As the narrative unfolds, the convergence of financial success and personal connections within the cast paints a vivid picture of the movie's impact on MGM, Hepburn's family, and the life of Margaret Witcherly. Katherine Hepburn, a celebrated actress, was featured on a 44 census a commemorative stamp in 2010 as part of the Legends of Hollywood series. Her co-star, Spencer Tracy, had a family connection with Gabrielle Christian. Hepburn acted alongside well-known stars like James Stewart, Humphrey Bogart, and Henry Fonda. These roles earned them their only Best Actor Oscars. Hepburn herself got nominated for Best Actress multiple times, winning for her last role. The film Keeper of the Flame showcases this impressive collaboration and recognition. In this film, Catherine Hepburn's name is often misspelled as Catherine, but it's actually spelled Catherine with a second A. She was known for correcting those who spelled it wrong. Over 48 years, she accumulated 12 Oscar nominations, winning four times. Spencer Tracy's political views are disputed. Some sources claim he was an arch-conservative in the 1930s, but his views supposedly moderated after he met Catherine Hepburn. Others say he was always a moderate Democrat. 
Tracy often stated he believed actors had no place in politics. Meryl Streep holds the record for Oscar nominations with 21 as of 2021, achieving 12 nominations in just 21 years, along with an additional nine nominations and another Oscar in 2012. Bette Davis scored 10 nominations over 28 years. It's interesting to note the differing trajectories of these acclaimed actors in the realm of Oscar recognition. The movie featured Howard Da Silva, known for his portrayal of Benjamin Franklin on Broadway and in films. Interestingly, Katherine Hepburn, a key figure in the film, confessed to using her brother's birth date as her own for an extended period. Despite its notable cast, the film faced widespread criticism from Republican politicians. These elements contribute to the intriguing background of this cinematic piece. In other roles, Katherine Hepburn turned down the role of Marilla in Anne of Green Gables, but recommended her great-niece, Shyler Grant, for the role of Anne. Spencer Tracy, once announced to co-star with Paul Newman and Robert Mitchum in The Enemy Within, based on a book by Attorney General Robert F. Kennedy. Katherine Hepburn also yearned to play the role of Alma Weimler in Summer and Smoke, eventually portrayed by Geraldine Page. In the realm of classic cinema, a captivating tale emerged from the collaboration of renowned actors and filmmakers, bringing forth a narrative that still holds sway over audiences today. With a remarkable ensemble cast and adept direction, the movie explored themes of loyalty, truth, and the complexities of human nature. One notable actor, a luminary whose presence added gravitas to the project, remained committed to his craft amidst the political fervor of the time. Attending the Democratic National Convention in 1944, he showcased engagement beyond Hollywood's confines. Another luminary, known for her depth and authenticity, portrayed a character whose complexity was heightened by her personal history. Her ancestral lineage traced through her paternal line added an intriguing layer to her performance. In this movie, these talented actors breathed life into a story that went beyond mere entertainment. The synergy of their performances, coupled with a depth direction and a gripping narrative, ensured a lasting impact on audiences. The journey from literature to the silver screen showcased the power of storytelling and collaborative efforts. With the acquisition of film rights, the stage was set for a cinematic masterpiece that left an unmistakable impression on film history. This exploration highlights the richness of the narrative and the significance of its cinematic adaptation, showcasing the talents of the actors and the efforts of filmmakers. Their performances brought this gripping tale to life, resonating with audiences even today. Katherine Hepburn had a really long career and holds a record for the biggest gap between winning her first and second Best Actress Oscars 34 years between Morning Glory and Guess Who's Coming to Dinner. She also has the longest time span for any actor between their first and last Oscar wins, which is an impressive 48 years from Morning Glory to On Golden Pond. Percy Kilbride spent a lot of time in Hollywood doing supporting roles before becoming famous in Ma and Pa Kettle. After that, he got top billing in six more Ma and Pa Kettle movies with Marjorie Maine, making him a leading actor. Spencer Tracy was part of a close group of actors in Hollywood known as the Irish Mafia. They had a strong bond on and off screen with James Cagney, Frank McHugh, and Pat O'Brien. This group's chemistry went beyond acting and left a mark on the entertainment industry. From Hepburn's record-breaking Oscar wins to Kilbride's journey from supporting roles to stardom and Tracy's tight-knit group with the Irish Mafia, we get a glimpse into Hollywood during their time. 